here with Roly Romero. Uh, Roly, in this odd world of boxing, how is it that you wind up tonight with the title shot? Roly gets all the special privileges in life. Yeah, no, I'll be honest, it was a little premature. You know, I mean, he was hurt, though. He was hurt. Like, I mean, you know, when you start doing the stanky leg, you're hurt, you know? But it, it was premature. He's a warrior. I know he wanted to continue. I wish the fight would have continued because he's a, because I, I wanted to beat him, you know, in, in, a, in, in a spectacular fashion. Oh, him. I ain't gonna lie. He punched me way harder. Like, when I mean way harder, I mean, like, every punch felt like a rock. He got that right. PBC special privileges. Not only did he get a title shot at 140, it's not a Reggie belt. It's a legit title. How many boxers you know will get a title shot after a knockout loss? I mean, it's a few that would if it happened, like a Canelo and Javante Davis, but a fighter at Rollie's caliber is unheard of. And not just that, they cleared the way and gave Roley the biggest cherry they could find. Or at least they thought it was a big cherry they could find. I think Barroso is older than 40 years old. He's at least 55. And still, he was beating the brakes off Roley until the referee helped Roley out and stopped the fight early. And now Roley's making excuses that he had to fight Barroso the way he fought him because he was scared of his power. Usually, the judges can mess with the scorecard and give the Roley, but Roley was so bad, they could not give Roley any rounds. And that's when the ref came in handy. We can't let Roley, Big Rolo, lose the fight. You gotta love those special privileges, the PBC special privileges. His best fights, training for the, the best him on fight night, uh, even though I looked to make it as easy as possible, I looked to handicap him of his best attributes. But um, I'm preparing for whatever he brings to the table. Maybe it's something wrong with me, but I'm more excited for the Vasily Lomachenko Devin Haney fight than I was with the Javante Davis Ryan Garcia fight because it was so predictable that who was going to win the fight. This one, I don't know. Devin's talking a lot, but Vasily Lomachenko looks like he's laser focused. I mean, all the advantages, the physical advantages, go to Devin Haney. He's a bigger fighter. He's taller. He's younger. But it seems like, to me, Lomachenko is hungrier. And not for money, him and Uzik are built differently. They're throwbacks. They want the legacy. He wants to be undisputed at 135, not for money, for legacy. Lomachenko wants to go down as one of the all-time greats. Now, I'm not like Bob Arum saying he's better than Ali and all that stuff, but I'm saying he wants to be an all-time great. Devin Haney said he wants to dominate Lomachenko. He wants to put him in retirement. He wants to end him, period. And I can tell you right now, a jab alone in holding is not going to do it. It sounds like Devin Haney wants to be real aggressive in this fight. And if that happens, we're in for a great fight. It could be fight of the year if we get an aggressive Devin Haney because that's gonna leave him open for Lomachenko shots. And Lomachenko is not the most powerful guy in the world. He's not the biggest guy in the world, especially for 135. But what he does have is good punch placement. Tiafimo believes the reason Devin Haney will lose to Lomachenko is because he's not aggressive enough. He's too defensive. And he might be onto something, but we'll find out this week. I can't wait. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.